Once again, welcome to Fresh Fire Prayer Ministry, where we keep the fire of the Holy Ghost burning. Today is the day the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm -hmm. We thank God for his mercies, his loving kindness and tender mercies towards us. The Bible says it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion filleth not the anew every morning. Great is his faithfulness towards us. So we keep we give glory and honor mm -hmm. and all adoration and praise to our Lord Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. our Master and Savior, for how far he's brought us this year. We bless him. I want you to join me right now to go before him and to just lift up your voice and just thank God for seeing you through January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. Mm -hmm. And God's grace, you are going to go through December and overcome. Um, this whole year, in spite of the pandemic all over the world, and in spite of the challenges, we thank God that he is our deliverer. Yeah. The Lord God is indeed our deliverer, our provider, our shield, our protector, and our sustainer. And he alone deserves all the praise. He alone deserves all adoration, because he is good, and his goodness and mercies endure forever. So without much ado, just join me right now and I just want you to express your sincere gratitude for just the gift of life, yes. the gift of health, yes. the gift of divine preservation and protection. Yes. And just thank God that in spite of the problems and challenges you are, you are going through or you've been through, he has sustained you and brought you this far. It could have been worse. And some of us will not be in our life had it not been for the mercies of God. For his compassion filleth not their new every morning. The Bible says, if it wasn't for the loss on our side, if mm -hmm. it hadn't been for the Lord, let Israel say, and we have to of, of the truth say that the Lord has been good to us. I'm not saying it's been easy, but the Lord's grace, his mercies, his loving kindness, tender mercies has brought us this far. And we just have to be able to say thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So thank God on behalf of your sons and daughter. Thank God on behalf of your family, thank God, and say, Lord, I, I just want to say I thank you for what, how far you brought me, and I worship you in Jesus' name. So join me right now as we say thank you to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you. We, we worship thank you, you we Jesus. Thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory, Lord. We give, Lord. You, all we we give you all the praise. Adoration. We bless you. Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, Jesus. For the gift of life. I'm grateful. We say thank you, Lord. 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 Blessed be. Blessed be. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. We magnify you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Blessed we bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for being our protector. Thank you, Lord, for being our sustainer. Thank you, Lord, for being our Thank you, Lord, for being our redeemer. Thank you, Lord, for being our shelter, our hiding place, our shield and defense. Thank you, Lord, for being our source and sustainer. Thank you, Lord, for being my rock. For you are my rock, the rock of salvation. Thank you for being our refuge, our hiding place. Thank you for being our deliverer, delivering us out from evil. Thank you for being our shield and strength. Lord, you are my strength. In our weakness, you are our strength. When we are exhausted, you are our strength. When we are fatigued, we are, you are our strength. When we feel like giving up, 
and throwing down the towel, you are our strength. When we feel like quitting, you are our strength. Thank you for being our shield, pointing all the fiery darts that is thrown against us. Thank you, Lord Almighty, for being our battle. Thank you, Lord Almighty. Thank you, Lord, for being our salvation, the horn of our salvation and our struggle. Thank you for being our savior. Thank you, Lord Almighty. We bless you for being our refuge. We are here to say thank you. We bless you. We join the 24 elders. We join the seraphims and the cherubims in saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who also is who is to come. All power, all glory, all honor, all adoration be unto you. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods who is like unto thee. You are glorious in holiness, fearful in praise. We worship you, Jesus. We bow down to your lordship and kingship. You are the lilies of the valleys, the rose of Sharon, the rock of ages, the ancient of days, the bright morning star, the soon coming king, I am that I am. In you we breathe, we move and help our being. You are our rock, our hours. We ask, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth, and I'll make my boast in the name of the Lord my God. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is within me, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. You are a dependable God. You are a reliable God. You are a trustworthy God. You are a faithful God. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for being the movable mover, the unshakable shaker. You are higher than the highest, richer than the richest, stronger than the strongest. You are the ultimate power, the ultimate God. In you, everything is possible. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. I want us to go before God and ask him for mercy and forgiveness. The only thing that will block you from your miracles, your testimonies, your deliverance is the sin issue. The Bible says, if we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and that the truth is not in us. However, if we confess our sins, it's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all. The Bible says, if I hide iniquities in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. It says, my hands are not short that I cannot reach out to you. Neither am I a deaf God, but your sins have separated you from me. The Bible says that if we ask him for mercy and forgiveness and we repent, even if our sins is red as scarlet, you make it as white as wool. And if it is as red as crimson, you make it as white as snow. The blood of Jesus is able to atone redeem, blot out, cleanse you, purge you, purify you from all sins, transgression, iniquities. Let's begin to pray that the precious blood will forgive us from any jealousy, any enviness, any carnality, any pride, any lust, any gossip, any hatred, resentment, unforgiveness, any lying, any last immorality, fornication, adultery, any prayerlessness, whatever sin is in our lives, mm. thought of evil, yes. pervert thoughts, presumptuous, presumptuous sins, sins mm. secret sins, Lord, we ask you to let the blood of Christ. And that's why David says, create in me, O God, a clean heart. A new and a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, but restore unto me the joy of your salvation. Lord, let the blood of Christ purge me tonight, right now, this morning, this afternoon. Let the blood purge me, cleanse me, purify me, sanctify me, blot away my sins by the, in the blood. There's power in the blood to cleanse you and I from all our sins. Father, we ask you for mercy. Jesus, Son of David, have mercy. Let the precious blood, we ask for the blood, we ask for the blood, forgive us. We repent, we repent, we repent of our wayward ways, of our stubborn ways, of our disobedient ways. We repent of every last of the world, last of the eye, pride of life. We repent, O oh Lord Almighty. For not to not obey your word, repent to Lord for presumptuous and secret thoughts, repent to Lord of immorality, carnality, anger, bitterness, resentment, lying, anything in our lives that doesn't glorify you, we come before you right now. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Lord Jesus. 
Let the blood run to me. Let the blood cleanse me for my sins. Let the blood purify me. Let the blood cleanse me. Let the blood, O Lord of Jesus, wash me. Create in me, O God, a clean heart. Give me a new spirit. O Lord, help me, Holy Spirit, to live, to live for you, to be upright, to be holy, to worship you through the spirit. Father, help me to die to myself. Help me to die to the world. Help me to die to the flesh. Help me to die to carnality. Let me be crucified with Christ, that I may walk in the spirit and not last for satisfy the last food desire of the flesh lord we ask for your mercy tonight this morning this afternoon forgive us cleanse us wash us purge us with the precious blood of jesus have mercy have mercy have mercy in jesus name i want you to also pray that the holy spirit will come and do a new work in your life we need the holy spirit to bring transformation many of us want to want a change Yes. But we are trying to use our human effort and we are we are keeping on failing. We are failing and failing and we are frustrated because the Bible says, without me, you can do nothing. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, not by mind or by your power, but by, by the, the spirit, spirit of the living God. Zachariah 4, yes. verse 6. You want to depend on the Lord. Yes, Lord. We are going to pray, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. come and bring transformation. Yes, come and change me. Come yes, and transform me. Turn me into the person Jesus wants me yes, to become. Yes, Deliver me from my secret fault and sins, presumption of sins. Deliver me from anything I do that is distancing me from God. Holy Spirit, come and change me. Give me a new heart. Give me a new desire. Give me strength to serve the Lord. Some of us, we want to pray, but we can't pray. We want to fast. We can't fast. We want to be in his presence, but sin has bound us. You need the Holy Ghost to come and do the work of transformation. Mm-hmm. Holy Spirit, come and take total, total control over my life. In Jesus' name, begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. We can we pray for fresh oil. We pray for fresh fire. We pray for fresh anointing. Baptize us with God, with Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire. We pray for the dunamis power. We pray for the oil sheet to function. We pray for fresh oil, fresh anointing, fresh power. The ragada then grace to press on. Let your grace be sufficient. Let your grace be sufficient. Strengthen us in our weakness. Empower us, embolden us, refresh us, revamp us, rejuvenate us, revigorate us by the power and anointing of the Holy Ghost. Revitalize us by the Holy Ghost power. We pray for power to end the year, power to overcome addictions, power to overcome our sins, power to overcome the world, power to overcome our problems, power to overcome the forces of darkness. Lord, we pray for your power. Let the God, Holy Ghost, let the Spirit of the living God take total control. We need you, Lord. Fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh oil, fresh matter, fresh grace, fresh strength. Rabba Bosikete Yadaba. We pray, O Lord, for grace. We need you, Lord Jesus. We need you, Lord Jesus. Pour your spirit afresh upon us. Let the rivers of living waters begin to flow. Let it begin to gush out of us. Lord, breathe upon us. Breathe upon us. Breathe upon us. Breathe upon us. The breath of life. 
Breathe upon us the breath of life. Breathe upon us the breath of life. And we shall come alive. Give us life. Give us strength to press on. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Today we are going to be learning about the spirit of rejection and freedom from the spirit of rejection. And you will see how this spirit is taking hold of many people and how God's deliverance will transform and change everything about you. So tonight, this morning, this afternoon, I want you to have faith. The only thing you need tonight, this morning, this afternoon, is faith that today, the Bible says true knowledge, the righteous will be delivered. Yes. The Bible says you shall know the truth, and the truth, and shall, the truth make shall make you free. Make you free. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away by my word, mm-hmm. will never pass away. And the Bible also says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, so shall be my word mm-hmm. that proceedeth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void. When it comes forth, it shall not return unto me void, Mm -hmm. but accomplish the purpose for which Mm -hmm. I sent it forth. So as the word of truth is coming, allow the truth to transform you by believing in the word. Mm -hmm. Don't doubt it is the truth that sets and makes us free just by believing in the word and see how your life will be decorated with God's glory, favor, and acceptance in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We give that praise. So today the topic is overcoming the spirit of rejection. And Mm -hmm. before we go on, um, what is rejection? When we talk about rejection, you have to know that rejection is an inner wound. It's wound. And today, if you allow yourself, and it is my prayer that you will allow yourself because Jesus Christ wants to heal every wound that you are in, every hurt that you are in. Jesus Christ wants to heal, want to bring healing to you because we all know that if you have physical wound, you want to heal it. You mm-hmm. don't want to entertain that wound because then infections can take place. And mm-hmm. then if you don't take care, that part of the body will become what useless you cannot use that area or it can be cut off it's the same thing when you have inner wound you want to allow god to bring healing because you want to be healed and i want you to know that it's only jesus christ who can bring that healing and tonight he is ready to bring that healing to you if only you will allow yourself to be healed if you allow yourself, if you allow Jesus Christ to touch you and he's willing to touch you. Amen. 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 So rejection is an inner wound. And when that wound happens, the only antidote or the only treatment for that rejection is what? It's forgiveness. Mm. You have to forgive. You have to forgive the offender, the one that offended you or the one that brought the hurt that resulted in rejection you have to forgive and i want you to know that jesus christ when you read isaiah 53 verse 3 the word of god says that jesus christ was despised and he was what rejected Mm -hmm. but then when jesus was being crucified even on the cross after they spat on him after they rejected him after all that jesus did for the people they told herod that do what Pilate that crucified him Mm -hmm. Jesus forgave them even on the cross he said when you read Luke 23 34 Jesus said forgive them for they do not know what they are doing Mm -hmm. so Jesus did not allow that hurt that rejection to stay there he extended what Mm -hmm. forgiveness what is the antidote for rejection and i want you to know that for some of us we might be going through so many attacks we might be going through so many afflictions we might be experiencing stagnation we might be experiencing setback delay we might be experiencing spiritual marriage or marriage not working or not being able to even have relationship with people and i want you to know that the root cause might be rejection 
because rejection is a spirit and once that door is open when rejection comes in and i want you to know that in terms of forgiveness when you delay forgiveness or you postpone forgiveness what happens is that that spirit of rejection when it comes and because it's a spirit when spirits are coming they don't come alone mm. so it opens a door and when that door is open because you are hurt because somebody hurt you and now you have rejection that open that door and when that door is open i want you to see this example very clear so that you understand what we are talking about so when that door is open it brings anger after the first reaction is you will be angry about whoever that caused that pain or whoever like whether it was your mother which who rejected you or maybe it's your husband who rejected you or maybe your family who rejected you now you begin to have anger during that period you can still manage and still go through life but then if you don't take care that would develop to unforgiveness and then unforgiveness would develop to hate and then hate would develop to resentment and then the last one is bitterness when you get to bitterness nothing sweet in your life can happen for example this is how it works it's like you having like a little baby so when that spirit of rejection comes in it's like you carrying a little baby you can carry that baby and still move around and still do little things but you'll be hindered compared to somebody who is not having any load or carrying a baby so carrying the baby is it's, the anger stage it's the anger stage but then if you don't take care of it if you don't extend forgiveness to the offender to the person that offended you that brought that rejection if you don't extend forgiveness quickly or speedily but in case you delay or you postpone and you entertain that anger to grow then it moves to unforgiveness it moves to hate then it moves to resentment and then when it gets to resentment it's like a, a person getting to like an a teenage you can still lift that thing by its little heavy but then when it get to like a heavy man like can you imagine like carrying like a seven feet tall man heavy you can't now it becomes a very big load that now you can't carry which is the stage of bitterness because you cannot entertain it and during that time nothing good in your life can happen because you are carrying that load you are carrying that burden and that brings limitation and in case of anything sweet is coming into your life because you are in the bitter state the bitterness swallows that sweetness so i want you to know that jesus christ want to extend healing to you he want to heal that wound it doesn't matter what it is i want you to know that jesus is able to bring you up and then you might be listening to me and maybe you feel that no one can reach out to you maybe you find yourself in this very dark pit and you think that no one can bring you up but jesus christ is able to bring you out if you only you will extend forgiveness to the offender if you will release that person from your heart if you will give that burden to him i want you to know that jesus want to fight for you he want to heal your wound and also he want to fight for you that person that caused that hate jesus christ is going to deal with them but he cannot deal with them until you have to extend that forgiveness until you release that person from your heart then you will allow jesus to now fight for you amen amen so if you can read luke 23 verse 34 luke chapter 23 actually yeah luke 23 verse 34 when jesus christ was being crucified the word that he said is that he said forgive them for you did not know for they don't know what they are doing and jesus said father forgive them for they do not know what they do you see so here we could see that jesus christ now for him to open the door for other spirits 
to come into him, he closed it right there for extending forgiveness to the people that are hurting him. And I want you to know that as a child of God, Jesus Christ also wants us to extend forgiveness. I know that they hurt you so bad, but tonight you have to release them. You have to let go so that Jesus can now begin to now work in you. If you can read Mark 11, 20, 25. And the thing is that even beside that, the thing is that if you want God to forgive you of your sin, then you have to be willing to also to extend forgiveness to the people that have done what, that have hurt you. And right now we all know that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. The time is fast approaching. So in case that maybe like you don't want to even forgive the person, I want you to know that because of heaven's sake, because you want to make heaven, today Jesus Christ is pleasing of he's asking you he is begging you that extend forgiveness to that person that brought that hurt mark 11 25 and and whenever you stand praying if you have anything against anyone forgive him that your father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses you see here it says that if you are praying if you are praying and you have something against somebody in case somebody has hurt you and i'm telling you that is the rejection the rejection just didn't come because they did something really bad to you so you are hurting you are wounded but then you want your prayers to be answered you want jesus christ to now fight for you or you want jesus christ to now to do the things that you want or the things that you were created to do you want jesus to help you but here he's saying that if you don't forgive there is no way that god will also forgive you of your sin and all of us we've sinned all of us we have offended somebody Maybe not to that level that they offended you, but all of us, we are sinners. And we also want forgiveness from God. And God is saying that in order for me to forgive you of your sin, you also have to extend forgiveness to that person that hurt you. Amen. Amen. So that is what? That is rejection. And I want you to know that if you are seeking for deliverance, if you are seeking for deliverance, one of the most important things that can hinder deliverance is unforgiveness because every single time that you allow unforgiveness to come in it opens doors and then now the devil have access the devil can now send any spirit to come in because you have opened that door and then also in case that you're trying to cast any unclean spirit out they're not gonna go out because of that unforgiveness is serve as what as an hindrance to your deliverance and tonight you want to be delivered you want to be set free jesus christ want to set you free and even when jesus came on this earth and he was um like before like he even started his his ministry and said the spirit of the lord was was mm -hmm. upon me the first thing he did was that he healed those that were wounded because the thing is that if your heart is wounded it's like your soul is fragmented it's not whole and and anybody that your soul is not whole you cannot receive total deliverance because you are not a whole person and jesus christ heal the broken hearted first before he extended liberty before he extended deliverance and that can be found in Luke 4 18 so if you can read that Luke 4 verse 18 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor see oh, go on. He has sent me to heal the broken heart. See, Jesus said that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor and to heal the broken hearted. Jesus Christ want to heal your broken hearted. Jesus Christ want to amend your wound. He want to bring healing, but you have to allow him. And he can only do that if you can extend forgiveness to the person that did what? That offended you. Can you continue, please? To preach the gospel to the poor, to he has sent me to hear the broken heart, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And to proclaim what? Liberty. In order for you to get freedom, your heart have to be, be made 
whole your heart have to be healed first your heart have to be healed first before jesus can now set you free but because the thing is that if if your heart is in pieces he has to jesus has to put it together first right. before you can receive the liberty that you need so today in case like you are looking for deliverance you want god to now begin to fight for you all he's asking and all i'm asking is that please it doesn't matter what the person did to you please find it in your heart to release that person tonight so that your deliverance so that your total deliverance can manifest tonight in the name of Jesus do you have something to say before i continue yeah um with the spirit of rejection it says it's an inner wound which opens for evil unclean spirit to enter and so the rejection is the feeling after one has is feeling rejected or after an abusive state when somebody has abused you or somebody has offended you or done something to to what contrary to your will or has ignored you or taken ad- advantage of you or exploited you and therefore you feel as though you've been wounded and after they have created that situation whereby you felt that they didn't treat you well now it goes to the stage of what anger bitterness resentment and also yeah and resentment and bitterness why because it all starting with people we feeling as though people did not treat us right and she's going to tell us some of the things that, i will go through yeah, all that. yeah but then in the in the definition it must also let people know that the reason why you are you are getting that inner wound is because something unjust something evil has been done to you which you don't deserve yes and for that reason you have you are justifiable by the flesh saying that because this person did this damage or unjust thing against me i am bitter about him i am angry at him i am offended at what he did to me and therefore i will not forgive him and therefore i will not release them because of this evil that they did to me once a person has hurt you exploited you abused you betrayed you that or that something very evil against you and your heart is now wounded with pain and hurt then the anger the resentment the bitterness begins to cloud you take over your life and that's all going to result in rejection spirit also taking dominion over you so she's going to also let us know how this spirit come in and allows this inner wounds to begin to infiltrate into our lives and begin to control us and sometimes we don't even know that these spirits are there until god exposes it and once you get your deliverance you begin to realize that because bitterness is no more unforgiveness is no more hate is no more anger and revenge is no more you are now able to experience favor acceptance and sweet things in your life so the inner wound that is creating the rejection there is a cause and many times it is because somebody has violated or treated us unjustly and that has created those wounds in our lives but even though we are as human being we want to be we want to feel offended and justified by why we are holding them ransom in our heart god says that just as we sinned against him we offended him and he forgave us no matter what the person did we must also let go so that he will heal us and take away the toxic the toxic spirit of anger the toxic spirit of hate the toxic spirit of bitterness and resentment out of us so that we can receive love receive goodness mercy so that we don't pay evil for evil so that our heart is not stained with darkness because of what people did to us amen amen, amen. So the thing is that rejection is a spirit just as raven k said and i told you that in order for you to overcome re- rejection in when somebody is experience rejection i said that because somebody 
pet you. Mm-hmm. So there is a, you are justified, like you have mm-hmm. a justifiable reason to hit the person. It, you example, have, before she goes into the detail, well, just, as, just this example to let people understand how this door can open. open. Mm-hmm. When somebody murders or kills your loved one, husband, children, God forbid. But we had a woman in, I think, Houston, Texas, somewhere, who came for the conference and she was so bitter. So bitter her life because somebody had killed her son. And when they went to court, the person was acquitted. They didn't jail, or the, the person was jailed a few years and was, uh, was brought out. Mm-hmm. And she was so bitter every time she sees this guy, knowing very that my only son, Bill God's son, you've killed this. So when she came for the deliverance and I was casting out the spirit of um, death, she started manifesting the spirit of death. And I said, you spirit of death, what is your legal right? And she says that because this woman has hate and yeah, bitterness. Yeah. And the Bible says that if we hate our neighbor, we are, we've committed murder. So she also having that bitterness and resentment and hate it had also even opened up the spirit of death to also come into her heart because she also was committing murder against somebody by the hate she had for towards somebody so now the spirit of death was also coming to claim her life which had justification because she was had opened the door of bitterness resentment hate in her heart so you see she was justified humanly for being angry, for being, for un, having unforgiveness and resentment and bitterness towards the person, but not when you are Christian. Because Jesus says that even though your son has been murdered by this guy, vengeance is mine. You still need to what? Release him, forgive him, and allow me to deal with her. So immediately she forgave during the conference. And repented of unforgiveness, resentment, and hate. The spirit of death that was coming to claim her life was cast out. And just recently, we saw her celebrating her birthday. She should have died almost six to seven years ago. But just because she obeyed the voice of God and forgave the offender, the one who offended her by taking her only son, and it's not easy. When she was receiving her deliverance, she was crying bitterly before she could forgive this guy because it had become a stronghold. The spirit had possessed her and she had. She was so bitter that this bitterness had become hate. And that hate, God says, if we hate one another, we are murderers. And so the spirit of murder says that you two will kill you prematurely because you are also having a murderous spirit in somebody. So this is very, very, and some of us are looking for deliverance from demons and witchcraft and spirit husbands. And yet still, these demons are not leaving us, are not freeing us, witches are still attacking us. Why? Because in our heart, we still have unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, hate towards somebody else. And for that reason, the demon says, why should I go? When you also have all this evil spirit in you, I will not go. The spirit husband is not going. The spirit wife is not going. You are not being delivered from that sickness, cancer, many arthritis, many cancerous. They are all, they come into our cells when our heart is embittered and wounded, call, and, wounded and hurt by offenses. That people who we loved, the reason why bitterness, unforgiveness, and reject, because sometimes the people you loved most, are the ones the devil used to hurt you most yes. so that you will not be able to forgive them yes let's continue yeah so right now we know that this is very very important topic and when when like in case like you are moved to cry cry because but the thing is that i want you to allow the holy spirit to do his work in you 
you have to release forgiveness there is no way you have to release forgiveness to the offender to the person that hurt you to the person that abused you to the person that did that evil to you you have to release forgiveness because the thing is that when you release forgiveness to them then you will be relieved of every pain you will be relieved of every torment you will be relieved of every the devil is so bad that even though like the person has hurt you but every single time that they hurt you and you open that door when they come in in that's unclean spirit comes with it so for you to be able to allow god to deliver you you have to relieve you have to release forgiveness we you have to release forgiveness and right now i want you to just say i release forgiveness to the offender mention that person name Amen. you know the person that has offended you mention their name and say that i forgive you holy spirit help me to forgive this person and as we go through this session you will know that you come to a point where your heart will be softened for you to forgive that person so that you allow jesus christ to do the work that you, he needs to do in you so that you can move on with your life because just as i said even though they've they've hurt you but the thing is that if you don't also forgive them if you don't release forgive forgiveness to them now it come to a point where it becomes like a burden that now you cannot carry that burden can you imagine carrying a sub, um like um, 20 yeah, yeah like seven pounds. feet man is very heavy you cannot move so it means some people they cannot make any progress in life because of just rejection and unforgiveness so you have let, to let me talk to you briefly about the forgiveness forgiveness is not a feeling but a decision it is a choice you make to obey god you just make a choice that today this person i want to move on i'll forgive him it is not a feeling because your feeling will always be this thing they've done to me i cannot but a decision that because i've heard the word and i want to move on and experience the best of god i will choose to forgive ask god to forgive you the ask god to give you the grace to forgive any persons who has hurt you in the past or present mm -hmm. forgiveness doesn't mean that you forget no forgiveness doesn't mean that you forget it means even when you remember you still choose to let go and not hold grudges against the offender doesn't mean that because you're forgiving the person they should be your friends no or they should, no 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 because some people if you give them opportunity again they'll keep on hurting you over and over and over until they destroy you so you forgive them you move on but you are not holding any grudges you have released them to go to deal with them yeah and also you don't wish them bad yeah. you don't you don't waste your time thinking about, about them. them you are moving on yeah ask god to heal your wounded heart and take every pain away by the power of the holy spirit i have a lot too so okay leave judgment to god and do not Im imagine evil again Defender. let god deal with them yes unforgiveness towards any persons make you a prisoner to the person it is like drinking a poison and expecting a person to die you lose twice when you don't forgive yeah um you have more to say forgiveness doesn't mean allow the offender back into your life no. to cause more harm again and again it may take some time for you to get over the head caused by the offender yes god will remove the head and put your trust by you putting your trust in him yes amen amen so just as reverend k said the forgiveness is for you it's not for that person mm -hmm. it's for you and also to allow god to what to fight for you and then in the bible an example um so so it's like the best example i can give when it comes to rejection and forgiveness like you know that when uh when david went and fought the woman in israel started singing they sang that oh saul has killed a thousand and david has killed ten thousand so over there saul felt that the children of israel have rejected him because the thing is that the things that they were saying 
wasn't true because Saul has been a warrior for for years and even like when he gave his his um his um the warrior attire to for David to to wear David couldn't even wear it because David said I'm not even training this but because David killed the Goliath the people rejected Saul they said oh Saul has killed a thousand and David has killed one over there the seed of rejection came to Saul but over there Saul was supposed to release forgiveness he did not release forgiveness and because he did not release forgiveness what happened is that it became anger then it became hate I mean hate and then bitterness to a point that Saul wanted to kill David many times he tried to kill David to a point that when you read first Samuel 13 verse 2 i will give the scriptures but i will paraphrase them as we go on so that we can get because there's more um when you read first samuel 13 verse 2 saul chose three thousand men three thousand men to go and pursue david in the wilderness saul was supposed to live in a palace Saul supposed to reign as king, but he left all those, abandoned the destiny that God had for him and pursued David to kill. That is why I'm telling you that even though somebody may hurt you, you have the reason to imprison them in your heart. But the thing is that if you don't let go, if you don't release them, if you don't extend forgiveness to them, what happens is that they block you from you fulfilling your destiny they block you from you moving on to do the things that god has ordained for you to do because we can see that in in source life that when he entertained that anger he moved into bitterness and what happened was that he wanted to kill david he wanted to kill him so bad that he left everything pursuing him but the thing is that god has also what rejected him because god wanted Saul to extend forgiveness yeah. do you get it and the same thing is happening to some of us we have taken our eyes off our own life and destiny and god's purpose for us and we are constantly hating on the people, people who yeah. offended us spending our energies yes. wishing them evil and going to their pages to see what has happened to them and how they are doing whereby if you had forgiven and let go you would have been focusing on your life and pursuing some yes. what God is doing in your yes. life. Yes. It is a distraction. It is a it distraction. And also, if you God. can move to, if you can read First Samuel 16, verse 14, if you can turn that. And also, when that door is open, remember in the life of Saul, because he allowed that rejection, because he allowed that anger, he allowed that hate and allowed it to grow, he feed on it. So it became bitterness to a point that he wanted to murder. He wanted to destroy David so much that God, and I, I'm telling you that every single time that that door is open, the devil have access. The devil can torment you. He can torment you because during that time, you have opened the door. You have opened the door for the devil to now to do whatever they want to do. I want you to know that God is a just God. God will avenge for you, but God wants you to forgive so that you will allow him for him to do the justice, right? First Samuel 16 verse 14. 16 verse 14. Yes. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. So see, because Saul did not extend forgiveness, the spirit of the Lord departed from him. The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. And now a distressing spirit. For some of you, you keep on having witchcraft attack. You keep on having spirit husband. You keep on, because the thing is that if that door is open, every arrow that they throw can hit you because you have opened that door. And today in the name of Jesus, that door needs to be closed. Mm. That door needs to be closed. And I want you to know that it's not that God is not going to fight for you. You have to know this, that so far as you extend forgiveness to the Lord, God will fight for you if you can read Romans 12 19 to 20. 
God will fight for you and even forgiveness itself and you being kind to the people that have hurt you, to the people who have caused you pain. Them themselves is what? It's, it's a weapon because remember that during that time that Saul was pursuing David, in the cave, God gave Saul to David, but David did not kill Saul. David forgave him. And when David forgave him, Saul thought that God wasn't going to avenge. God did. Saul went to battle and he died. If you forgive those people, God will fight for you. Whatever evil that they did, they're going to pay. Because God is what he said, just God. He said, vengeance is mine. I will repay. God doesn't want you to take the vengeance. He wants you to forgive the person so that he can now fight for you. Beloved, do not avenge yourself, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if any enemy is hungry, feed him. If any thirsty, give him drink. If in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on their head. Amen. Do not overcome evil with good with. Do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good see this is very important i'm gonna read it again because Reverend Gay was speeding this is very very important because you have to know you have to know that the first thing that god is requiring from you to overcome the spirit of rejection is what forgiveness and i want you to know that once you extend forgiveness i'm not saying that's gonna be easy it's not because that person has really hurt you and when i go through the things that bring rejection you'll be able to identify if that spirit is even operating in your life and you don't know you will know it but i'll go through all the things that bring rejection so you have an idea but i want you to know that god is not asking you that forgive the people so that those people will go scot free no god is gonna avenge for you god is gonna fight for you he said that beloved do not avenge yourself but rather give place to wrath for it is written vengeance is mine vengeance is the lord all god wants from you is that the person that raped you that brought rejection, that hurt you so bad, that took your pride. God wants you to extend forgiveness to that person. It's not that God is going to let that person go scot-free. No, God is going to deal with them. But God wants you to forgive them so that you will have freedom to move on with your life. So that you will have freedom to now fulfill the things that God have for you because the Lord is too much. You cannot carry that load. You have to bring it to God. And in order for you to bring it to God, it's require forgiveness. It's require you that you forgive the person, that you release that person from the bottom of your heart. Maybe your mother rejected you. God still wants you to forgive your mother. In the physical realm, he still wants you to still be kind to them. And you doing that is a weapon of itself. He says, the vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed them. God is expect you to show kindness to them. He said that if he is thirsty, give him what? Drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of what? Of fire. So over there, it's, it's a weapon. Your kindness to them is a weapon that God is going to use to have against them. You know, like in the physical realm, God wants us to relate to people as human beings. Show kindness to them. Forgive them. Don't carry that bitterness that every time that you see them, you want something really bad to happen to them. Or every time you're thinking about them, you're spending your whole time thinking about them. How am I going to get even with this person? No, that is not going to help you. That's going to be a stumbling block for you. He wants you to be kind to them. He wants you to forgive them. He wants you to move on with your life. But as you do those kindness. He said that it will be what? A cause of fire. A cause of fire over them. See, David allowed Saul to leave. God, even the servant said, why don't you kill him? Because God has given him Saul into your hand. But then David said, no, I'm not going to kill the Lord's anointed. Didn't still God kill Saul? 
God still killed them. I want you to know that if you release this forgiveness, God is able to reward you. God is able to heal your broken heart. God is able to bring favors into your life. God is able to restore you. God is able to show kindness to you, to open strange doors. I'm telling you, those people who did evil to you, they will seek for you. They will seek for you. But it all starts from you that you release forgiveness to them. It doesn't matter what they've done. Forgive them so that God can help you. And you will see examples as we go on. You will see examples in the life of Joseph. You will see example in the life of Jephthah. You will see example in the life of so many people. I'll go through them when it gets to that point. So forgive, forgive. And right now, I want you to say it again. I release forgiveness. You know the person that has hurt you so bad that you think that you cannot forgive. I want you to say, I release forgiveness to John. I release forgiveness to Sarah, I release forgiveness. Whoever hurt you, mention their name and say, by the help of the Holy Spirit, I release forgiveness to you. You have to do it intentionally because the thing is that you don't want to postpone forgiveness. You don't want to delay forgiveness because it robs you of your blessing. Mm -hmm. It robs you of your happiness. It becomes a load that you have to carry. No, Jesus is saying that bring that burden, bring that load to me and I will give you rest. I will heal you from that broken hearted. I will heal that wound so that you can move on with your life, with your life. Otherwise, if we don't, they win twice they do they've hurt you yes. physically yes and then the more you are hating on them you see them moving forward, forward. as you are always going backwards. going backwards but when they hurt and you forgive you will see how god will avenge you and whatever they sow they will reap what they sowed and then god begins to restore you so now you meet the same person again and then they are now looking up to you the people who used to laugh at you be laughing now coming to you who said, who are you, are now coming to say, how, how are you? Because God has lifted you and exalted you and set a table before you in the very presence of those people. Now those people will see you and be ashamed. They will because be Because after all that they did to you, they the Lord has what, lifted, lifted you, you up. Lifted you, lifted you. But unforgiveness will make you see the person and then you realize that they are still moving, moving forward. Up because and you are now going down. God, God cannot Fight. avenge for and you. And demons are rather attacking, attacking you. you because, because there's an open door. Of there's an or open door. And hate. peace, I know that it's not fair. It is not fair. You That's know, like it's it. like it's not fair at all because you are the one that is being hurt. But the thing is that that's how it operates. So far as the door is open, they're not gonna come alone. They're gonna come up with anger, hate, bitterness, resentment, other things, tormenting spirit. Because remember, so even the Lord Himself released a distressing spirit to distress him, to torment him. So please, please release forgiveness to the person that has hurt you release forgiveness and i know that is hard but with the help of the holy spirit because he is our helper that is why when it comes to healing process of rejection and hurt you you have to be intentional you have to pray intentionally. You have to mention that person's name and pray. Because the thing is that you cannot think evil about somebody that you daily pray from your heart. You have to be intentional. Even though when you start, the pain will be there. But as you continue to do it, so healing will, will take place so that you can move on with your life. A time will come whereby you realize you, you see them and you are able to go hi. to them and say hi. It doesn't mean they are supposed to be your friends. No, they don't have to. They don't have to because when you look at the come life, back into your life. Yeah, okay. because like when you look at the life of David, when Saul hurt him so bad and then David released forgiveness to him. David free from Israel because he said if I stay here, Saul will still kill me. 
and even like when you look at the life of joseph when the brothers came in order for joseph to accept them back he has to test them to know that whether they are repented so that part everybody understands that there have to be a distance but the thing is that you have to release them from your heart for some of you you haven't been able to release them and the way you will know that you haven't been able to release them is that every single time that you see them there's this anger that just comes that you can't even say hi you don't want to look at them you don't want to talk to them you don't want to have anything to do with them then it means or you try to or, avoid them or they are obs- you are so obsessed that yes. you keep on what finding out what is going on, going in, their on life in their life to see what and has you happened. want evil to happen and some of you go to their facebook to check on them and people will call you and say oh do you know have you heard about this guy what is going on in their life you are always trying to find out what is going you are spending your energy your time on somebody why because you want to get even whilst you could have said i've forgiven that i've released them i don't really matter to me what they are doing with their life but as for me i'm moving forward and i'm going to fulfill god's purpose for my life and i have no evil or bitterness against them that doesn't mean they can be my friends no. they can never be my friends they can never be close to me but i don't have anything against you yes. if i see you high high i'm moving my way yeah so we see here that in the physical realm this is physical things god wants you to do he wants you to forgive them he wants you that in case they're in trouble and in case they come for assistance or they come you you need to extend help to them because don't want that is a warfare but then in the spiritual realm don't don't get this wrong in the spiritual realm when you read Ephesians, he says we wrestle so over there you wrestle against that spirit that spirit that is working through them, you wrestle against that spirit. So if a person was using witchcraft, witchcraft to destroy you, destroy to kill you. you, or to frustrate you, then physically, hi, hi, hi. Release forgiveness to that person. But spiritually, spiritually when you, you, are praying, wrestle. You, you are wrestle. praying against that witchcraft, that, spirit. that evil spirit that is yes. operating through yes. them against you. Yes. That one, you have to pray against, against those spirits yeah. and break and destroy their witchcraft and bind and cast them out. Yes. To defend yourself yes it is different it's warfare yeah so please praying. get get this get this right because i have to be able to say this and also have to be able to say because that some people so that you don't still, confuse yourself some people are still projecting their spiritual attack against you yes so you have to pray against them yes. spiritually yes and destroy their witchcraft spells and yes. champs and hexes yes otherwise they'll kill you yes they'll kill you yes so you forgive them but you pray against the spirit yes that they are trying to use to destroy you and that can be found the bible base for that is in efficiencies i think when you read from 10 12 11 Six going 12. 12 going it talks about how we wrestle against, against flesh, flesh, flesh and blood so against flesh and blood flesh and blood is the one that i just read to you in romans 12 19 to 20 that's flesh and blood how do you deal with such people flesh and blood romans 12 19 to 20 how do you deal with the spirit Ephesians says 12 10 12 yeah you read that so you do your physical part of being civil yes and being nice mm-hmm. but spiritually you pray yes. that the lord will destroy anyone whose spirit is attacking you to destroy you that one you pray against it yes because you're not praying against the human being yes we are praying against the, the spirit, spirit. That is operating through them. The witchcraft spirit, the demonic spirit, the sorcery spirit, the spirit of death and destruction they are projecting against you. That one, you have to pray against it. Otherwise, it will destroy you. Because, and that can be found, You, you and this example that I gave David, David make it clear. When you read the Psalms, David pray against, against his, enemies. The, his enemies. But here, like when he was dealing with Saul, physical, he extended forgiveness. And kindness. And kindness to him. So that explains it. So now, what are the causes? You want me yeah, to let's go to the causes. So now, what are the causes of rejection? What are the things that happens that can bring the spirit of rejection? Unwanted, the first one is unwanted pregnancy. I want you to know that the spirit of rejection can enter a baby in the womb during conception. The spirit of rejection can enter that baby. And I want you to know that because when you read the word of God, when Elizabeth was pregnant, he said that and the baby in Elizabeth's womb 
was filled with what with the holy spirit so meaning that if the holy spirit can fill a baby it means that also a demonic spirit can also fill a child during conception so what is unwanted pregnancy what are some of the things that because unwanted pregnancies that for example in case like a teenager get pregnant they're now ready they weren't expecting to get pregnant they were just going in there fornicating okay. having fun and now they found themselves pregnant so the rejection that they have for the child because they weren't ready they begin to speak and whatever that you spoke that child in the womb can sense it so even the child even came out the child felt rejected because the mother don't want that child example is jabez his yeah, mother jabez. didn't want the child because he caused him too much pain too much so pain. he called him jabez, jabez meaning, meaning pain. pain and that brought rejection into his life and some of us we were you know our parents were not really married they were having fun and we're byproduct of their sex not love and then your your mom your mom probably wanted to keep you and your dad wanted to abort the, you and then you survived so and he went through so much it can create rejection i remember this story and we are going to use it as an example and move on we during father's day mother's day and everybody was coming to talk yes. about how yeah. beautiful yeah, their mothers, mothers have been to them but one guy came in and yes. said what about bad mothers mothers they were we only focusing Talking on good mothers. good mothers what about, what about very evil bad mothers? bad mothers why because when his mother gave birth to him his mother didn't want him and went to trash him on dump a, him on dump the, him on the trash can on a trash can and somebody discovered him and adapted him yeah. and he grew up without knowing his mother until later when he grew and they told him that you were adopted and you because your mom abandoned you into the trash the guy grew up and was still experiencing rejection why because his mother put him in the trash so the spirit of rejection had taken over his life because he, his own biological mother and father had rejected him so when your parent reject you oh i wish I, it was a boy yeah and then i you, wish i was a boy or sometimes the parents were in ready, ready because of financial issue and now you came in or maybe they already have the number of children they want to have and now they find out that after that number of children you they're are, now pregnant they weren't ready they, you weren't in their plan so you, you come just, in you into come the world in and but then they were not happy for they you they weren't happy it's like you are a problem yeah because they didn't plan yes you're coming mm -hmm. and some of us without our knowing we were not planned and we came in and our parents didn't accept us but they had to still deal with us yes and some of us have to be careful the way we treat our children yes it's possible that you were not expecting that boy and therefore he came in yes and then you realize that it's like oh, this child we didn't but that could be the destiny the child destiny that child. is going to turn the, the whole child. life the destiny around child. some of us who were rejected by our parents yes and that's why we are going through rejection without us knowing we are telling you how you can be going through rejection without you even, even knowing. knowing why because probably your parents were not ready for you or they said that why is she even around mm -hmm. and because of that you carry with you the spirit of rejection from your mother's womb from your, your father rejected womb. you mm -hmm. and your mother because of also on her because she wasn't prepared for you she also rejected you by saying negative words that i wish this child didn't come i wish i didn't give birth mm -hmm. i wish this child could have been aborted mm -hmm. some even some of them even tried to abort the child and the child will not die but survive yeah or they didn't have the money or the the boldness to do it but they wish you were not around mm -hmm. it can be creating that rejection you are experiencing wherever you go because your own biological parent rejected you yeah another thing too is verbal abuse like in case like like a child or like a child found themselves always parents saying oh you're not good enough you are stupid you, you are, are stupid foolish. you are foolish like every single you are time you're nobody you, you can't do it yeah why are you, you like you, your father you're speaking all these negative words that can cause rejection um another one is deny of love maybe like the child is there but you never show them any love you never kiss them you never spend time, time with them, with them. you they just there so that can bring rejection disapproval like everything that they do 
that's not good enough that's for you enough. that's not good enough that can bring you wish your child was like this bro. yes you're always and comparing. always comparing always comparing can't you see what your brother is doing can't you see what your sister is doing can't you see how my neighbor's child is doing yeah look at your friends doing this so always you are comparing your son or your daughter or you to growing up your mom or your dad was always telling you you are not good enough because you could have been like this guy or that guy it can begin to infiltrate and bring about a spirit of rejection by those negative reoccurrence wires in our lives also sexual abuse sexual abuse very is big. very big for example like maybe like you were in the family and maybe your uncle or maybe your dad or, or your mom's insect, boyfriend insects happened or somebody abused you that rape. can bring rape that can bring rejection because during that time it's very big that uh most of the time the lady felt that maybe like it's their fault that they got raped or they got used or they felt that oh they would have maybe protected themselves but the thing is that that is not your fault it's that person's fault you have to forgive yourself because you didn't do anything wrong is the person that abused you or is the person that raped you is them that did wrong but the thing is that when the when that spirit of rejection comes in another thing it brings is guilt because then they feel that oh maybe i maybe i couldn't have maybe go there by myself or maybe stay at home by myself but the thing is that that wasn't your fault so sexual abuse can also bring rejection a lot of and people also, are going through rejection and the gate anytime you're experiencing rejection rejection ask yourself have i been sexually molested abused or raped if you have ever been raped by anybody in the past it it's a big opening to rejection because now your soul is intertwined with somebody you were not ready for they have violated your soul and yes. have claimed their soul with yours mm -hmm. and has taken part of your soul so now you, you are moving around with a fragmented soul that yes. opens up to that rejection spirit. yes it causes rejection it also brings a burden of shame mm -hmm. guilt defilement strong hate for men for mm -hmm. for some ladies mm -hmm. like they're not able to even to stay in marriage because they have so much hate or they don't want to even have any relationship with any man because they have so much hate for men and also on the other side it can also bring lust the spirit of lust can also come in if you don't work on it work on it and because you were violated and it came brought in anger resentment unforgiveness bitterness and later on you tried you didn't really deal with it spiritually but you said let me move on you will find that you are having a problem in relationships yes you'll yes. be really having relationship with men but you realize that it doesn't work out why because you are wounded you are not healed so you are trying to solicit love from men because somebody took your soul yes. by that rape yes and because you have not allowed jesus to make you whole yes any man who comes into your life cannot fill that vacuum it and for that reason that. it doesn't matter the nicest person who come into your life somehow the relationship doesn't that's mature it. into it. marriage yes. and even if you marry you realize that it's not working yes. because you are still fragmented by the rape the uh, abuse that you experience yeah. so if anybody who has gone through any form of rape abuse or sexual molestation you need to ask the lord to really deliver you yes. from that ungodly soul tie yes. with the sexual offender and also to release them because their soul is still in you it's so you have to forgive them and then disconnect, disconnect your, soul your soul from them yeah and then you become whole then the next relationship I pray for somebody. Yes. It will work. It will work. Because it you are healed. Work. It will work. You are healed. Yeah, it will work. And also bullying. Bullying at school can also bring rejection. Most of our children are Please. feeling rejected. Rejected. Or you are feel you are going through rejection because growing up you were bullied yes. by your brothers or siblings or in school. Bullying going on can cause a child to feel rejected. And some of us we were bullied in school. They were saying you were not beautiful enough. Yeah. You were not pretty enough. Yeah. You couldn't join the cheer group. Yes. You were this, you were yes. that. And these are negative, negative things, things said. And by the time you realize, the spirit of rejection has called itself yes. around you. And also 
like the color of your skin mm -hmm. you have to be comfortable with the color of your skin you have to love your skin you have to love your skin because the thing is that when god was making you he wanted to make you just like the way you are and as we go on you will know that in the plan of god he had you in mind and you have to love the way that god made you do not let anybody tell you that oh you're not beautiful or or, or this, comparing yourself, yourself with, with others other people. yeah um that's where inferiority self um, self esteem low self esteem, self -esteem, esteem inferiority low self esteem inferiority complex and looking down on yourself and that's where sometimes without some women knowing because they haven't accept their uniqueness mm -hmm. and accept their individual identity as this is who i am this is how god made me i may not be the tallest i may not be the prettiest but i am wonderfully and beautifully made by i mean the image of jesus so however i am i love myself i have embraced myself i have accepted myself i'm beautiful because this is what god really wanted to yeah. make me and, and that's why i'm unique you yeah. accept your individuality your unique, uniqueness, and your yeah. uniqueness yeah. otherwise if you keep on comparing yourself that's why some of you are going through extra, extra, extra with this uh, makeup, makeup extra yeah, with, with wigs extra so, every, you realize yeah, everything, everything you are doing you are, because you are trying to be like that american idol yeah please stop wasting your time be yourself be yourself love yourself and i'm telling you the day you begin to accept your uniqueness and your personality as mm. god has made you man the man meant for you will also love like you, you for who, you, who are. you are you don't have to be pretending we are in a generation whereby people are almost pretending about everything their breast they are putting in something to yeah. make up their breast their butt. something their butt something their hair something their face by the time they remove everything you realize that the person is all, all different <laughs> begin to accept your uniqueness but right now once you have accepted your uniqueness and you say okay i've accepted myself i love myself but you know what i think i am too, a little bit too big maybe for the reason of health wise that was what i was going to say that let me if work you're out saying that you're going to lose weight have to be for the reason of health health, health wise. wise but not because you feel rejected no, no. you do things to improve upon what you have mm -hmm. because you said i love myself so much i don't want to die young yeah because of heart related problems yes. diabetes high blood pressure so i choose to do the workup i choose to do this things fine okay now you have accepted yourself and your uniqueness i love myself but i'm having acne all over so now i'm using a little bit of what uh makeup to cover it so that it doesn't look too bad we understand yes after you have accepted yourself you begin to uh, take care of that yeah. uniqueness not because you are striving to be like the other ladies Lady. so that another man may love you for who you are not so you spend all your time trying to become somebody you are not and it is very difficult and with the time you, you yourself you'll be tired yeah meanwhile just be yourself and people will love you people will love who you are who you are because when you the start they may that, say oh, who because do you the think thing is that because time. the thing is that when god created you right he made us so unique that there's a specific assignment on this earth for you that nobody can be like you you have to know that nobody can be like nobody can be like me mm -hmm. and nobody can be like you so if you if i try to copy him um i'm losing now because then who's gonna be me mm -hmm. and the thing is that is the thing that makes you me will attract people to me because i'm mm -hmm. unique no one can do the thing that i do and in the sight of god it is the inner man yes that is even more important, important to, god. to god it says that we focus so much on the outside yes but the bible says that we should focus on the beauty of the inner man yes god was telling me that people should not be looking at the container yes but the content, content of what that container has and so you begin to beautify your inner spirit and then as you're becoming beautiful inside you realize that you are also growing outside yes and yes. then you begin to put things in place yes. god himself in wisdom will tell you my daughter the way you are eating is not good yes. the way you are gaining weight is not good mm -hmm. the way you are not handling yourself well I, I, you can change this hairstyle this way the holy spirit himself will begin to beautify you yes. the holy spirit will tell you that hey dress this way and this is who and this is what will attract the husband of yes because now you are working with the holy ghost yes. not by this secular 
ways of trying to be like the American Idol, which is Jezebelic and Delilah. Okay. And I'm, and Continue. So another thing that can bring rejection is divorce. Because when there's when divorce goes on, like what happened is that the one the person that got divorced feel like oh my partner has rejected me for mm -hmm. especially like when there's unfaithfulness right. involved the other person feel like i've been rejected i'm not good enough so it can bring rejection and another thing that also happens in divorce that is very 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 important that all of us have to watch out is that it's not just the parent that get affected also the children also, if you are not careful and you don't handle it well, rejection can also impact, impact. The, children. the children can also feel rejected. Because the thing is that when one parent is only like when they are only feeling or receiving love from only one parent, they're not receiving love from the other parent. So they feel rejected. And this one goes to the woman. I know sometimes when there's a, a break, marital break up women usually want to have possession of their children and many times over protectiveness they don't want the child to even have anything to do with their uh, father it is right because you want to have the child to yourself but what you don't know is that you are sowing the seed of rejection in, into the, this, into in your this child, child. he's growing up knowing that his father didn't care about him yes so, he's growing yeah. up to know that his father rejected him yes and that spirit of rejection, rejection will take, take over, over him. Over he will grow and he will realize that he cannot also survive in any relationship. Yeah. He sees a woman, use the woman, sleeps with the woman, and he's moving on. Because also my father didn't, was not there for my mother. Yeah. And so the same spirit is causing me to reject other women, break their heart. So what you went through painfully, you are developing that daughter or son to also grow up to be the man, just like his father. Yes. But because you are not giving him equal access for him to also embrace love, love. from his father it's you love. are thinking oh love. no no no! don't talk to your father your father is bad love, no, no. Love. 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 love so love. please all of us you have to make sure that even like when there's a divorce that you don't involve your children let the children receive love from, from their pa both parents, parents. both parents. You, the child will grow out to have a sound a sound life, life. it doesn't matter yeah. the two of you didn't agree yes but leave the innocent yes. boy yes all of you already you are going to your own witchcraft and rejection why are you going to subject your innocent son like jabez into also the part of rejection now they'll grow going to rejection and therefore they cannot also make it and now when they grow up, they can't be a blessing to you because they themselves also are expressing rejection at their workplace, rejection in relationship. So they can't be of any use to you because you are sowing the seed. Recently, a, a man came to my place and I had a dream about him and I realized that he's nice. He's a nice guy. But in a dream, I realized that he's not having any relationship with his son. So when he came to my house, I said, I had a dream and I realized that you were not having any picture or any relationship with your son. What's going on? He says, I have tried everything to reach out to my son to have a relationship, but the mother will not allow me. And I said, I know it is very bad hmm. because your son is growing up to think that you, you don't care, care about him and that you have rejected him. It's a seed that will also make him grow. Rejecting women and he himself will be rejected. And some of you women in your overprotectiveness, it's my son, it's my son. We went to the court. I want I want so custody. I don't want him to do anything you are sowing the seed of rejection. You grow up and go to rejection and not be a blessing to you because he didn't also have a balanced life. Love from mother, love from father. Be very careful the path you are going. Please, we are telling you the counsel of God so that if there is anything that maybe you're doing wrong, now it might not be too late so that you can amend it. I mean, like we have to tell you what the word of God says because so far as you deny love, from one parent, rejection was set was sudden because in the mind of the child, it's either the daddy didn't love me or mommy didn't love me. So you have to make sure that the children are receiving love from both parents. And then what happened is that if rejection happens and then you don't release forgiveness to the to the one that offended you to get healed what happened is that these two things happen you you will have what is called fear of rejection and fear of rejection normally happens like for 
for people who have had divorce or who have had sexual abuse or who have had rape or who have been through like physical um trauma yeah the fear of rejection and what is the fear of rejection fear of rejection is now now you begin without your knowledge i'm not saying that you know about this you do it unconsciously it happens other people see it you may not even see it but this is what is happening that is blocking or destroying every relationship that you go in that you may not even know when the fear of rejection happens what happens is that you put on false defense mechanism and what is false defense mechanism it's like it's is a mechanism that your body put up so because the thing is yourself. that because the thing is that you've been hurt so bad so now your body says to yourself that i need to survive in this world mm-hmm. i cannot be hurt like that anymore. anymore so what happened is that you put on this false defense mechanism to block you being hurt again by you putting on without you knowing what is that doing is that it's now send signals to people that comes around you so what happen is that you block them the people cannot get to you so if there is like a relationship like maybe like you got a divorce your husband your previous husband hurt you so bad but now you moved on maybe you didn't get total healed and you went into another relationship maybe now god has brought this good man but because your body has developed this false defense mechanism if you see that man just talking to somebody maybe a coworker you just go off or in case that you see this man going to the store to buy something you put up like you kind of protecting yourself because maybe your your first husband did that you think that maybe this man too is going to come to hurt you so even the things that you don't even have to argue or you don't have to question or you don't have to even suspect you suspect right example is the woman in samaritan the samaritan woman, woman she had gone through five men all have cheated taken advantage of her until jesus shows up and jesus wanted to heal her bless her change her life and she had already put in up that defense yeah she said give, like why would i give you give water? water yeah you see now a man who comes to show you love and genuinely love you then you realize that you are repulsive you are repulsive and, and you paranoid and, and and you realize that the, the man says i really like this girl but the way her attitude yeah. her behavior and the way she why because you are trying to say please i know you're kind yeah. somebody and maybe this one was different a genuine one a genuine, a genuine one. one so you have to be prayerful so that your defense mechanism does not put away your divine your, your divine, divine helpers. helpers your divine helpers. if you do that every time you 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 will be rejecting your divine helpers that force defense mechanism rejects your divine helpers even when somebody want to be a blessing to you because of that mechanism you push them away yes because you are fr- because you are afraid to be rejected yes. you reject people before they reject they you they reject you and another thing too is that you will find it very difficult trusting people mm-hmm. you also develop what is called distrust and we all know that no marriage can work when there's distrust like when you don't trust the person that you want to spend the rest of your life mm-hmm. or no relationship will hold if you don't trust the person and also suspicion like i'm not saying that you don't use your discernment spirit or you don't allow the holy spirit to lead you to discern but the thing is that if you begin to suspect suspect everyone that everyone is there to hurt you then that's that's too much because then that's yeah. you going over and another thing that also happens so we have the fear of rejection so the fear of rejection is when your body develop this false defense mechanism that you not even aware of but it shapes your behavior so that is because like you trying to prevent yourself from being hurt again it brings distrust and suspicion and to avoid thing, this in this world the way as we teach on this you can't really trust human beings yes so what the bible says and jesus christ did not trust, trust. anyone so don't be suspicious about people but expect anything from everybody don't be what suspicious about people don't go about suspecting 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 it is negative energy 
but also prepare yourself and expect that I would rather put my trust in God and not in man because I know that any man can do anything. So when you come around people, even before they do anything, you are expecting the best from them, but you're also expecting the worst because your trust right now is in God because you know yes. that any man can do yes. anything. Yes. But don't waste too much energy because any man can hurt you. Yes. Any man can betray you. Any man can cheat on you. Yes. So your trust is now beyond Your the man. man. So when you re- let out, you find out he's doing it. So don't worry. I never really gave my yes. heart to you. My heart is in God. He's the only one I trust. And I'm a, I'm praying that God will bring me the Mr. Right. Yes. So if you are wrong, it means God says you are not the right person for me. Yes. So you can easily let go. Yes. People can come into your life and you will discover they are cheating on you and you'll never be hurt yes. because you were expecting it anyhow. Yeah. Because you know that you, you are a man. You may be just like my ex. But I'm not going to put down any suspicion. I'm going to trust God. If you are meant for me, you will stay. If you are not meant for me, God will expose who you are. And then I will easily walk away. But I'm not going to. Don't die for any man or hold any man. Don't easily give your heart to man. Give your heart to Jesus. And expect the Lord Jesus to direct you to the right person who will love you. And when you love them, you give them grace to help do the right and also if rejection also proceed on and you don't release forgiveness and wound and get healing of of your heart then what also can happen is that you can get what is called self-rejection and when self-rejection happens that's when you yourself now begin to reject yourself that's when you tell yourself that you're not good enough you're that's not when, enough you're not beautiful when, enough yeah, you're that's, not worthy. yeah that's when you also begin to have multiple or pseudo personality so what happened is that you are so many different pers- personalities like you want to copy everybody everybody you see you want to copy you're not of your true self because now you're trying to become Fitting. somebody that you're you are not. not yeah so because you you are now having that spirit of low self-esteem yes inferiority complex and, and identity crisis so now you try to pretend to be who you are not because or maybe if I dress this way and I look this way, you see my girlfriend who just got married, this is how she is, and that's why she got a man. So maybe if I also pretend to be like this, I also get so you begin yeah, so, to put on the who you are not. Yes. Please be yourself. Yeah, be yourself, be yourself. And I want you to know right now, I want you to say to yourself, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection, every spirit of rejection in my life, in my life, I cast you out. I cast you I out. Cast you out. I cast you out. I deny you. I denounce you. Cannot you cannot say stay in me anymore. You cannot stay in me anymore. Anymore. Jesus and the thing Lord. is that I want you to know this is when healing comes in. You have to now allow the Holy Spirit to do his work in you. Now I've given you all the examples. So now you know if the spirit of rejection, if you have any spirit of rejection, you have to allow yourself to get healed tonight. And Jesus Christ wants to heal you. And the thing is that you can be rejected by man. You can be rejected by men. But the thing is that you have to know that God accepts you. God did not reject you. God accepts you. And if you look at the life, like, you know, like when you look at um, Jeremiah, when you read Jeremiah 1 verse 5, God told Jeremiah that even before you were born, I knew you. So I want you to know, maybe your parent did not plan for you, but I want you to know that in the sight of God, God had you in his plan. God had you in his plan. I will need you to read Jeremiah 1, verse 5. Yes, yeah, a lot of reading, so you have to deal with Just read it. No, this is not, I paraphrase it. That's okay. not there. It said, Before I formed you I in the you. womb, I knew Last you. Word. Even before mm-hmm. you were born, I sanctify you. you. So here we know that in the plan of God, when, like you see, like maybe like your mother was a teenager, maybe he was just going in for fun. But in the sight of God, you are in the plan, in God. You are not a mistake. No, you are not a mistake. God had a plan for you. God had a purpose for you. A purpose on this earth for you that only you can fulfill it. So you cannot allow that rejection 
to ruin your life. No, because even though your parents rejected you, maybe your parents wanted a boy and maybe you came in as a girl. And because of that, they didn't really, really shower their love on you. Mm -hmm. I want you to know that God loved you. You are precious in his sight and in his plan. He wanted you to come as a girl mm -hmm. because the assignment that he has for you, only you, the girl, can perform that purpose. So in the sight of God, nothing is like a mistake. Nothing is like, oh, I didn't plan. No, you, God had you in his plan and then when you read romans 8 verse 15 romans 8 verse 15 can you you can start paraphrasing it as I romans 8 15 this is what it says Romans 8 verse 15 says, says this. It says, for you did not receive the spirit of what? Bondage. bondage. You did not receive the spirit of bondage again to, to fear. fear. But you received the spirit of what? Adoption. Adoption. By whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Maybe your father rejected you. Maybe your mother rejected you. I want you to know that because you are a Christian, now Jesus Christ, he is your father. And he said that he has what? He has adopted you. You are his son. You are his child. And you can call him Abba Father. Meaning that it doesn't matter like whether your father wasn't there or didn't show you love god is there to show you what to show you love and then the word of god says that even while we were yet sinners christ died for us that is the greatest love the greatest love one can show is to lay down his life and jesus christ lay down his life for you so you have to know that you are loved and you are a child of god and you have a heavenly father i did not have an earthly father but i do have a heavenly father who loved me so you don't have to allow the spirit of rejection to take hold of you no tonight that spirit of rejection has to go away we have to send it packing because for you to get deliverance you need to reject the spirit of rejection yes you, you, have, you to have to reject it and say you have no place in my life why? Because Jabez experienced rejection. Mother wasn't there. Father wasn't there. But received the love of God. So the Bible says, And Jabez called unto the God of Israel. He made his father, heavenly father, his God. And began to rely rather on God. And because he trusted in God, God began to break the curse, the limitation, the rejection from his life and make him a sensation. The reason why some of us are still experiencing rejection at work, rejection with people, rejection in every area of our life, causing disappointment, causing delay and setback, is because we are still not embracing the love of God and yes. the power of God's love yes. to transform us regardless of where you are coming from, yes. whether your yes. mother was yes. around, whether your father was around, whether you were abused, whether you were rejected or whatever went on in the past. You say, because I'm a born again, I'm a new creature. I've been and redeemed God by the blood. A new, a new thing. thing. God is doing anything. And then when you read verse 35, Romans 8 verse 35, you say, who shall separate us from the love of God? In order for you to overcome the spirit of rejection, you have to know that God loved you and nothing on this earth can separate you from the love that Jesus Christ has for you. And tonight, I want you to embrace the love of God. I want you to say, I accept. I accept. I accept. I accept. The love of God. The love of God. Because what the spirit of rejection does is that for some of us, it will cost you not for you to accept the love of God. Because the thing is that the Bible says that perfect love casts out all fear. If you know that Jesus Christ loved you so much, you will not allow the spirit of rejection to hold you bound. No, because he loved you so much that he's willing to do everything for you, to make you, to help you to succeed, to fight on your behalf, to avenge those who caused that hurt. 
God will fight for you. You have to know that God got your back. He got you. So you have to accept the love of God. You have to the also love. renew your mind. You have to renew your mind and say, hey, in the past, I've been through this. I've gone through this cycle. But now that I have allowed God's love and God's power to have dominion over my life, the old things have passed away. Now, allow God to make you a new person. Allow the Lord to change you. That, hey, I'm a new person. And so the spirit of rejection has no place in this new temple because I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And from now, I am loved. And many times when I was doing the rejection, because rejection brings about uh, disfavor. Disfavor, yeah. I even allow people to give their themselves spiritual names or nickname. Yeah. Favor. 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 That from today, I'm called Favor. favor. My favor. spiritual nickname is what? Favor. Yeah. No more, because you are telling yourself that from today, some people have expressed rejection, 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 until they themselves, they start now thinking that they are a rejected person. They are going for interview and they are already saying, I've been rejected. rejected. They are going to relationship. They say, I'm going to be rejected. They are, everything they are about to do, the f- first thing that comes to mind is that I'm going to be rejected because in the past, that is, has been my life. Now, I tell the people to now adapt a new spiritual name. Instead of rejection, start thinking that my spiritual name is what? Favor. Or my spiritual name is what? Acceptance. So every day, um, my name is Favor. My name is Acceptance. Wherever I go, I can, I will be accepted and I'll be favored. So now you begin to, to tell yourself that I can do all things through I Christ who strengthens me. I can no become more. what? Like no more no will more. I be rejected. No more will people reject me. That wherever I will go, I will be favored. I will I'll be, be favored. accepted. And then when you read Ephesians 1, please, because of time, Renew your mind. I'm going to paraphrase this. I'm going to read the part that I want you to mark. You can mark it with your uh, in your Bible. And then when you get home you read the whole Ephesians 1 because Ephesians 1 lets you know the love of God the plan of God that even before you were born God chose you even before the foundation of the world you were in the plan of God so you have to know that no one can reject you because there's others still other stuff that I have to go through before Reverend K let us pray so and you have to refuse to be rejected no people will try to reject you no but you have situation to. will try to reject you and you say no no, no my no, new no, name no, is no, acceptance. No. acceptance my new name is favor favor and therefore i will not entertain it you begin to reinforce Force. that's why those who don't read the bible i pity yes you have to change your life yes. by the renewal of, of your, mind. your mind her father wasn't there my father wasn't there not because they wish not to be there but circumstances did not allow my father to be around. Circumstances did not allow her father to be around. But the day I became born again and I, I knew God as my heavenly father yes. after now, yeah. that's why I love God so yeah. much because he is my father. Yeah. That's the only father. I, I don't care whether he was there, he didn't do this. I don't have to even entertain that. I am so much interested in what my heavenly father has for me. And I'm telling you, what your heavenly father has for you, it is far Far and better better than what any earthly father or earthly man can do for you. An earthly man took away your virginity. A heavenly father can restore. Can restore it. Prostitute Rahab was a prostitute, but when he connected to the heavenly father, he became a descendant of Jesus Christ. If you allow the woman with the Samaritan woman, when she adapted, connected to Jesus, now she became, she won the whole Samaria for Jesus Christ. For, for, don't forget, forget, don't focus on the earthly damages. Damage, yeah. Focus on what God can turn your pain into gain, gain and yes. turn your gain into power and yes. testimony. Yes. And let people know that like Jebus, my father wasn't around. My mother wasn't around. I was rejected. I was disappointed. I was bullied. People looked down on me. I had low self-esteem, inferiority complex. But for the God of Abraham, Isaac, and yes. Jacob, that I cried out to him and I believe, look at my life. I am now more honorable. More, honorable, more, more respected, more relevant, more honored than all my brethren. Please, he rejected rejection. Say in yes. the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today, today I reject. I reject the spirit. The spirit of rejection. Of rejection. I reject. You. I reject. You. I renounce. You. I renounce. You. I denounce. I break. I break your evil cycle. Your evil cycle of my life. Of my life. I bind you. I bind and you. Cast you out and cast you out. Jesus I reject name. you. I am moving forward. I am moving forward. God is doing a new. 
thing. You better God believe. is doing a new thing. Because when you read the word of God, he says, I forget the, forget what? The past. The past. The past the things. The former things. The former things. Because Behold, God, I do a new thing. I do a new thing. It will spring forth. A new thing. It will spring forth. God is doing Shall a new you not thing. know it? People are not allowing the power of God's word God to transform us. God is doing a new thing. And so we are lamenting you, on I the know. old. Yeah. Um, please, please. When you There's read, power in the blood. When you read Ephesians 1, Ephesians 1 verse 4, it says, just as he chose us. Mm -hmm. So here, Jesus Christ is saying that he has what? Chosen what? You. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were rejected. Maybe they didn't plan for you. But the thing is that even before you were born, mm -hmm. God chose you. That's right. He said he chose you in him before the foundation of the world. That's verse 4. Ephesians 1 verse 4. And then when you read Ephesians 1 verse 5, he said, having predestined us to adoption as sons. And I told you that in case you are rejected by man, God has what? Adopted you. Mm -hmm. You have a, have a heavenly father mm -hmm. who loved you, who has adopted you as his son, as daughter. his daughter. That's all you need. Even before the foundation of the world, God chose you. And also he has what? Adopted you. And when you read verse verse 6 he said to the praise to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted mm. in the beloved so you are accepted in jesus you name. cannot be rejected because jesus christ <laughs> has accepted you why should you jesus why should christ I allow has a man accepted you to reject me when i've been accepted by god he says that you, mm. i have made you accepted in the beloved, verse 7, he said, in him we have redemption. And also he has what? Redeemed you. You've been chosen, predestined. You've been chosen even before the foundation of the world. Having predestined you, he has adopted you as what? As sons for his own pleasure. You see, maybe like when your parents were having you, they weren't as, uh, excited. But in the sight of God, he said that he was what? For his own pleasure. For his own pleasure. So you me. cannot be a mistake. You cannot listen to the words that somebody said that, oh, you're not good enough. No. God said you are good enough. You may not be good for them. And you that's are why unique. the relationship didn't work out. Yes. But that doesn't mean that you're not good enough. Good enough. You are better for somebody yes. better than Yes. Them. You keep on moving on. Knowing yes. that I am beloved, I'm loved by God, I'm accepted by God, and I can do all things and God's purpose in my life. I want you to just tell them and, the examples of people. And then Japta, when you look at the life of Japta, so Japta, give us, just give us the summaries of the what okay. went on in their lives. Okay. You see the story in Judges mm -hmm. 10, 1 to 7. Judges 10, 1, it's, it's only chapters can you read it because Japta was rejected Japta was rejected by his brothers and his um his father's wives mm -hmm. because his mother was a harlot Japta was rejected so what happened was that they sent him out of that country so Japta had to go and then later on, years passed, he became a mighty warrior. And what happened was that the people that rejected him have to now go back to now seek for Japheth. And I want you to know that even you that you, 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 you think that you've been rejected, I want you to know that if you allow God to bring this healing, even those that rejected you, they're going to come to seek for you. Because what will happen is that God will bless you so much. God will elevate you. God will honor you. All the pain that you went through, God will bless you. And they will have to come and look for you. Just as Joseph brothers, the brothers have to come and look for Joseph. Remember? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you can read for me. Judges, Judges 10, 1 to 7. After Abimelech were rose to save Israel, Tola, is that, is that the place? Verse 11, it's a chapter. Yeah. It says Judges chapter 11. Now, Jephthah the Gilead was a mighty man of valor. 
but he was the son of a harlot. And Gilead begot Japheth. Gilead's wife bore a son. When his wife's son grew up, they drove Japheth out and said to him, You shall have no inheritance in our father's house. So see, like when Japheth grew up a little bit, they sent him away. Because of the inheritance, they said that, oh, your mother was a harlot. You, we, you can't be part of this family. So they drove him away. So Japheth felt rejected. He was rejected by his own family, his own brothers and sisters. They rejected him. You have no inheritance in our father's house, for you were the son of another woman. Then Japheth fled from his brothers and dwelt in the land of two. And what less men banded together with Japheth and went out raiding with him. It came to pass after that time. Can you jump to seven? Seven right here. Then Japheth said to the elders of Gilead, Did you not hate me and expel me from my father's house? Did you not hate me and expel me? Didn't you hate me and didn't you reject me? Mm. I want you to know that for those that have rejected you you know like in the sight of god 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 always take the things that people despise and god will take that thing or that person that people despise Trash to, into treasure. yeah to turn it into treasure because remember in the sight of joseph the brothers rejected him they sold him as a slave but yes came that god elevated joseph the the Joseph that they rejected and sold him as a slave. It was the same Deliver. Joseph that brought deliverance to them. So do not be troubled. Do not be troubled. Do not. And do not. And do not allow the spirit of rejection to take hold of you. Many Tonight, times, reject the spirit of rejection. Many times, the reason why we go through this rejection, whether from infants or middle age or the old age, is because of the star. Yeah. The glory, the glory, the, the destiny you the carry. carry. Mm -hmm. When the devil realizes that you have a glorious destiny, a star, you will always cause that rejection to mark your life so that he will turn your destiny upside down. So that, like Psalms 4, verse 2, how long would you people or sons of men turn my glory into, into shame? shame? So Whenever the enemy knows that you have a great, a great potential, destiny. he will create around you situations, somebody raping you, somebody not rejecting you, somebody disliking you, are, uh, abusing you, taking advantage of you, exploiting you, so that you'll be wounded in order to kill that glorious destiny, virtue, that glorious stardom that God has made you. Don't allow your past experiences, as painful as it may be, don't let it truncate god's divine purpose for your life because many of the people were rejected they became stars japta became a star even david was rejected when saw someone was called to go and call the sons of jesse mm -hmm. all of them came yeah was called that. but we will not have time but for david they rejected him joseph was rejected jabez was rejected even jesus christ because he was going to save the whole world he says, a man of sorrow, rejected by men. The stone that the, the, the builders have rejected. He was the chief cornerstone, but they, yes, they rejected them. So let your rejection that was meant to cause you pain rather become power and bring you gain. Turn your rejection into acceptance. Turn your rejection into power and gain. Don't sit back for the devil to use Can rejection. You can you read 9, nine verse 9? Verse 9. So Japheth said to the elders of Gilead, If you take me back home to fight against the people of Ammon, and the Lord delivers them to me, shall I be your head? So here, the person that they rejected, now he became their head. He became their head. When you look at the life of David, and that story can be found in 1 Samuel 16, mm -hmm. 10 verse 13 because of time we don't have time we, we, we can read it but write it down it's a, about the life of david mm -hmm. when god told prophet samuel to go into the house of jesse when he went there he asked he specifically asked jesse can you bring all your sons david was the youngest nobody jesse had seven sons no none of them remembered david until prophet samuel said 
is all is it all your children what happened was that and i want you to 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 remember this word you see in the sight of men they might have rejected you but in the sight of god you were the chosen one what samuel said was that samuel said first samuel 16:10 to 13 when you read it you will see this this thing i'm about to say samuel said prophet samuel said are all the young men here he asked jesse and then he said because the lord has now chosen these What happened was that Jesse brought the seven sons those that they look good and left David did not none of them remember David mm. but then someone said the Lord has not chosen these men is that all your sons I want you to know you might be rejected but in the sight of God mm, God has what chosen you That's what Ephesians 1 he said that God has chosen you before the foundation the of this world. Remember Jesse brought the seven sons, the ones that look good. But then prophet Samuel said God has not chosen these. But the one that was in the wilderness watching the sheep, the one that the whole family member, the father did not remember David, mm -hmm. the seven sons none of them remembered and then i want you to know that every family the younger one is like the favorite of everybody mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because david was the youngest so everyone should be fond of david and david shouldn't be forgotten but because he was rejected the family the father did not remember david the seven sons did not remember It's david he took the prophet to say god has not chosen any of these is that all your sons and then he said we will not sit until david be right. brought here until david come back from the wilderness we will not sit i want you to know that if you begin to allow god to heal you god will do greater things that even the people that rejected you they will stand up for you because remember they did not sit down Until prophet david. samuel did not let them sit down until david came and when david came he anointed him and said the yes. lord has made you what king the lord has made you what king when you read genesis 50 verse 20 it was about joseph when the brothers rejected him and sold him into slavery mm -hmm. and when the brothers came and met him in egypt they were afraid but then God said extended forgiveness. That's why I'm saying that you have to extend the forgiveness to the people that have hurt you, to the people that have wronged you. Joseph said that you meant it for what? For evil. Can you please read it? Genesis 50 verse 20. You meant it for evil, but the Lord You meant it for, it for evil, but the Lord meant it for what? For good. I want you to know that if you allow God, God will heal your broken heart god will heal your wound and the things that they did to you that they thought that those things were going to destroy you no it will work for your good god knows how to let everything work for your good just as he did in the life of joseph just as he did in the life of david just as he did in the life of japhtha it will work out for your good amen And just as we read in Psalms 4, verse 2, it says, How long will you, sons of men, turn my glory into, into shame? shame? So it means that anytime you are chosen, that's when the devil wants to make sure you are rejected. Yes. Because whenever you are experiencing rejection, it means you are what? The you chosen have the one. great destiny. And you are chosen. Yes. So the enemy will give you the opposite yes. of rejection. It should give you a sign in the Psalms. It says that when my mother forsake me and my father forsake me, but the Lord will not embrace me. And so I want you to know that it is God that you have to focus on. And he has the power to change and to transform your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You must reject the spirit of rejection today. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today. Today. Through the knowledge of God. Through the knowledge of God. Through the revelation of God. Through the revelation of God. I reject. I reject. Every spirit. Every spirit. Of rejection. Of rejection. That is 
having its impact. That is having its impact. Its negative impact. Its negative impact. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. One of the other areas we didn't touch, but we will pray is favor. The rejection that can be marked on a person also through witchcraft. Witchcraft can mark you with rejection. Mm -hmm. Generational curses can also mark you with rejection. Do you understand? So as you are praying these prayers, just believe and God is today going to de detach you, disconnect you, disassociate yourself from that spirit of rejection. And then you begin to experience the favor and the acceptance okay. of man and of God. God. Remember in the book of um, Luke chapter 2 verse 50 also, when Jesus received wisdom and favor with God and with men. Luke 2 verse 52 also. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. Luke. Chapter 2. Oh, and Jesus increased in wisdom. And Jesus increased in wisdom. And stature. And stature. And in favor with God. And in favor with God. And man. And man. Today, God is going to do something new in your life. Yes. You are going to receive favor and acceptance mm -hmm. from first what? God. God, yes. And then with man. man. When God favors you, all you need is for God to favor you. For God to accept you, automatically anybody on this earth must start accepting yes, you. Yes, and also, and, and also, you. as a child of God, you have to know that the spirit of rejection is not your portion. Because as a child of God, God surrounds you with His favor as like a, a shield. shield, and that can be found in Psalm five, verse twelve. He said, "For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him." As with a shield. a shield. So now, instead of rejection, the Lord is encompassed. The Lord is surrounding, surrounding you with a favor like a shield. In Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today. Today. By your word. By your word. I repent. I repent. And renounce. And renounce. I denounce. I denounce. The spirit. The spirit. Of hate. Of hate. Anger. Anger. Resentment. Resentment. Revenge. Revenge. Rage. Rage. Bitterness. Bitterness. Offenses. Offenses. Retaliation. Retaliation. Murder. Murder. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. Towards any person. Towards any person. Any individuals. Any individual. Who has offended me. Who has offended me. I release them. I release from them. From the prison. From the prison. Of my heart. Of my heart. Anyone. Anyone who has disappointed me, who has disappointed abandoned me, me abandoned me, mistreated me, mistreated me, rejected me, rejected me, disrespected me, disrespected me, sexually me, molested me, sexually molested me, sexually harassed me, sexual harassed me, emotionally abused me, emotionally abused me, verbally abused me, verbally abused me, spiritually abused me, spiritually abused me. Anyone who has taken advantage of, uh, uh, about me, anyone who has taken advantage, advantage of me, of me. Today, today, by your word, by your word, I am making a decision. I am making a decision, not by my feelings, not by my feelings, but by your truth. By your truth, I'm asking for grace. I'm asking for grace to forgive, to forgive all these individuals, all these individuals that has hurt me, that has hurt me. I release them. I release. I them. forgive them. I forgive them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. With a few minutes, just mention the names of some individuals who you know yeah. have caused great pain in your life. And say, Father, mm -hmm. I forgive them yes. and I release them from yes. the prison of my heart. Yes. I'm making the conscious, deliberate decision, decision that today this person who abused me, this person who offended me, this person who took advantage of me, exploited me, this ex, this ex-boyfriend, this ex-husband, this best friend who betrayed me, who took advantage of me, Lord, I forgive them. Mm -hmm. I forgive them. I forgive them. I forgive them. And I release them. Mention their name and say, today, I release you from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. I release forgiveness to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. And in the name of Jesus, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit. Every spirit. Of anger. Of anger. I bind you. I bind you. I cast you out. I cast you Every out. Spirit Every spirit. Of hatred. Of hatred. Working inside of me. Working inside of I me. I bind you. I bind you. I cast you out. I cast you Every out. Every spirit. Every spirit. Of resentment. Of resentment. I bind you. I bind you. I cast you out I of my life. Out Every of spirit. Life. Every spirit. Of bitterness. Of bitterness. I bind you up. I bind you and out. And cast you out. And cast you out. Every spirit of revenge. Every spirit of revenge. Rage. Rage. I bind you. I bind you up. I cast you out I of my life. 
lie. you out of my every life. Every spirit of offenses. Every spirit of offenses. Retaliation. Retaliation. And murder. And murder. I bind you up. I bind you up. Out of my soul. Out of my and soul. And I cast you out. And I cast you in out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I bind to my heart. And I bind to my heart. The spirit of forgiveness. The spirit of forgiveness. The spirit of love. The spirit of love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Every memory every memory of pain of pain of hurt of hurt of those things of those things those individuals of those individuals cost me cost me father father holy spirit holy spirit lord jesus lord jesus delete delete those memories those memories from my consciousness from my consciousness and subconsciousness and subconsciousness let me not for, remember them anymore let me not remember them anymore let not the pain come back to me anymore let not the pain come back to me anymore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Every scars, every scars, every wounds, every wound they've created, they've created in my soul, in my soul today, today, spirit of the living God, spirit of living God, heal me, heal me, and bind up, and bind up my broken heart, my broken heart in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, do a spiritual surgery, do a spiritual surgery, and take away, and take away every bitterness, every bitterness, every pain, every pain, every hurt, every hurt, every unforgiveness, every unforgiveness, every revenge, every revenge, anger, anger. Yeah. Hate. Hate. Take it out of my life. Take it out of my Replace life. Replace it with your love. Replace it with your love. Replace it with it with compassion. Replace it with compassion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today. Today. I exercise. I exercise my authority. My authority. That every covenant. That every covenant I have. I have with the spirit. With the spirit of rejection. Of rejection. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. Off my soul. Off my soul. I break it. I break it. Off my soul. Off my soul. And I cast it out. And I cast it out. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Whoever. Whoever has had a soul tie with me. Had a soul tie with me, and because of that, and because of they are that, controlling my emotions. They are controlling my always emotions. Always causing me to be angry. Always causing me to be angry. Bitter, bitter, and unforgiving, and unforgiving because because of the pain they've caused me. Because of the pain they've caused me today. Today, I disconnect them. I disconnect them from my soul. From my soul. Every soul tie. Every soul tie. I have with them. I have with I them. I break it. I break in it in the name of Jesus. In the name of with Jesus. With the sword of the spirit. With the sword of I the disconnect spirit. my soul. I disconnect my from soul from all these toxic persons. From all these toxic. In the name of Jesus. 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 Let the blood. Let the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Heal. Heal. My broken heart. My broken heart. And heal. And heal. My fragmented soul. My fragmented soul. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Brood on my soul. Brood on my soul. Heal my heart. Heal my heart. And make me whole. And make me whole. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Now you spirit. Now you spirit of rejection of rejection from today from today I I in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus reject Christ, you reject you I bind you out I bind you out and I cast you out and I cast you out out of my life out of my life from today from today you have no more power you have no more power dominion dominion control control over my life over my life you will not manipulate me anymore you will not manipulate me in the anymore. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any demon any demon that enforces that enforces rejection rejection in my life in my life and causes and causes people ignoring me people ignoring me people abusing me people abusing taking me taking advantage of me people taking advantage causing of me causing disappointment causing disappointment causing people to offend me causing people to offend today, me today today you that evil spirit you that evil spirit your assignment your assignment your mandate your mandate in my life in my life is hereby is hereby terminated 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 terminated, terminated in my life in my life in jesus name in jesus name. i reject you i reject you. i renounce you i renounce you i denounce you i denounce you i cast you out i cast you out, out of my life out of my spirit life. of rejection spirit of rejection i bind you i bind you and cast you out of and my life you, out of you my have life. no place you have no place in my heart in my heart you have no place you have no place in my emotions in my emotions you have no place you have no place in my life in my life jesus jesus has accepted me has accepted me. i've been predestined I've been predestined. I've been called. I've been called. I've been justified. I've been justified. And now I'm being glorified. I've, now I'm being glorified. Today, today, I am accepted. I am accepted. My spiritual name. My spiritual name is favor. Is favor and acceptance. And acceptance. Favor. Favor and acceptance. And acceptance. I receive. I receive the favor of God. The favor of God and the acceptance of God. And acceptance. Of God. I receive. I receive. The favor of God, the favor of God and acceptance, and of, acceptance God. of God. I receive, I receive favor from man, favor from and man, and acceptance from man, and acceptance from in the man. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today, 
from today i break i break every curse every curse of rejection of rejection of my life of my life every generational curse every generational of rejection of rejection from my mother's bloodline from my mother's blood from my father's bloodline from my father's bloodline that is working against me that is working against me i break myself i break myself loose and free loose and free in the name of jesus in the name of jesus anyone Anyone who has bewitched me who has bewitched with the me, curse with the curse of rejection of rejection today today in Jesus name in Jesus name, I break I break that witchcraft that witchcraft I break I break that spell that spell I break I break that charm that charm of rejection of rejection of my life of my life in Jesus name in Jesus from name. today in from today every spirit every spirit of rejection of rejection is loosing me now it's losing me in now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say in the name. In the name. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. I drink. I drink. The blood. The blood. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Blood. Blood. Of Jesus. Of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my Enter body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my Enter soul. into my spirit. Enter into blood my soul. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my Enter body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my Enter soul. into my spirit. Enter into my blood spirit. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my Enter body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my soul. Enter into my spirit. Enter into my Any spirit. spirit. Any spirit. Of rejection. Of rejection that has entangled, that has entangled my, soul. my soul today. today. Let, it let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Let, it let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted out of my life. Out of my life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Just put your hands on your stomach and I'm going to pray that any spirit of rejection, whether you are rejected by your parent, bullied rejection from the womb any a rejection from witchcraft or generational curses wherever the rejection came from or divorce, or divorce separation verbal abuse, verbal abuse sexual rape abuse. sexual abuse people are taking advantage of, of you exploiting you you've been through so much pain so much hurt it has created all these rejections and the devil has held you captive because of that you've been a, a slave to rejection you go to work, you are rejected. In relationships, every man who comes into your life rejects you. Your own children are rejecting you. Friends are rejecting you. Even church are rejecting you. Everywhere, your life is marked with that spirit of rejection. But today, the hand of the Lord, the finger of God is delivering you. And today, that spirit will not follow you anymore. The spirit of rejection will monetize you and cause people to always ignore you, always reject you always disappoint you, always use you, exploit you, take advantage of you, abuse you, and betray you. That is a spirit. But today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. the covenant of rejection on your life is broken. Mm -hmm. The bewitchment of rejection on your life is broken. Mm -hmm. And that demon is coming out. Mm -hmm. Say, put your right hand on your stomach. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus every, spirit every spirit of rejection, of rejection I uproot you I uproot out, you. out of my life. Out of my now. life. Now. now. Spirit of rejection. Spirit of rejection. Out of my life. Out of my now. life. Now. now. Spirit of rejection. Spirit of rejection. Out of my life. Out of my life. Now. Now. Spirit of rejection. Spirit of rejection. I I command you I command in the name of Jesus. In the name of come out of my life. Come out of, come my, out of my soul. Come out of my, come out of my life. Come out of my, come out of my soul. Come out of my, come out of my life. Come out of my soul. Come out of my life. Come out of my soul. Come out of my life. Come out of my soul. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of rejection. Amen. Come out of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come out of my soul. I want you to begin to breathe out for me. As I command every resentment and pain out you just breathe out just don't talk don't pray just breathe out and i'm going to command any spirit that has entered and opened up into your soul that is causing rejection disappointment pain and suffering today is your day yes that spirit will not follow you anymore that curse will not mark your life anymore Amen. that witchcraft will not have power over you anymore Amen. in the name of jesus Amen. as you place your right hand on your stomachs Say, I drink the blood. I drink the blood. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my soul. Enter into my spirit. Enter into my spirit. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my Enter into my spirit. Enter into my blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Enter into my body. Enter into my body. Enter into my soul. Enter into my soul. Enter into my spirit. Enter into my spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Just begin to breathe out. In the name of Jesus. Any unclean spirit that has entered into your life. As you begin to breathe out, just 
You breathe in. You breathe out. And you breathe in. And you breathe out. And I'm commanding every spirit of bitterness out in Jesus' name. Any stronghold of bitterness today, that spirit of bitterness must leave you now. That spirit of unforgiveness must leave you now. I command every spirit of bitterness come out in the name of Jesus. Yes. I bind you and command you out of their lives. Amen. Spirit of unforgiveness, I bind you and command you out in yes, Jesus name Lord. out yes. in Jesus name you are having difficulties forgiving in Jesus name you spirit of unforgiveness out in Jesus name you spirit of resentment out in Jesus name you spirit of resentment bitterness out in Jesus name you spirit of unforgiveness hate out in Jesus name you spirit of resentment out in Jesus name in the name of Jesus you spirit of rejection you spirit of rejection that has bound these ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the day of their deliverance, their liberty, their deliverance. As they breathe out, let the blood of Jesus flash you out, eject you out. In the name of Jesus, command, I command every curse of rejection. Break and come out. Amen. Every curse of rejection. Break and come out. Amen. Every bewitchment of rejection. Break and come out. Amen. Every spirit of rejection, foundational spirit of rejection in your life because of pain, hurt, and suffering break and come out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come out in the name of Jesus. Cough, cough out and go. Cough out and go. Cough out and go. Cough out and go. No more rejection. No more disappointment. No more abuse. No more hurt. No more people offending you. In the name of Jesus. No more. No more. No more bitterness, resentment, hate. In the name of Jesus. I command this unclean spirit. Out in the name of Jesus, Amen. cough out and go. Out in the name of Jesus, cough out and go. Out in the name of Jesus, cough out and go. Break and come out. You curse of rejection. I break your hold of their lives. You curse of rejection. Break and come out. You witchcraft of rejection. Break and come out. You demon of rejection. That monitors their lives. Lose her. Amen. Lose him. Amen. Out in Jesus' name. Amen. Just be, keep on breathing out. In Jesus' name. Whatever is you which is not of God is coming out. Spirit of rejection, come out. Spirit of rejection, come out. Spirit of rejection, come out. Hear the word of the Lord. Come out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Jesus name. I bind you and I break your hold out of their lives. I bind you and I break your covenant out of your life. I bind you. Anyone who has been raped and your rejection came out of rape today, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has bewitched and cursed with that rejection today, I break, I break the curse and the bewitchment of rejection of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone who was rejected because your mother or your father did not accept you and therefore rejected you today, that curse, even though your mother and father rejected you, but the Lord Jesus, the Heavenly Father, has accepted you. You are the beloved of God. You are loved and accepted. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command the spirit of rejection from your infancy before you were even born. Out in Jesus' name. Amen. Out in Jesus' name. Amen. Out in Jesus' name. Amen. Any spirit of rejection that causes your any relationship you enter into not to work out because of fragmented soul, because of ungodly soul tie, because people have wounded your soul, abused you, taken advantage of you, exploited you. Today, I command that spirit that is holding your heart bound and tied up. Break out in Jesus' name. I Amen. command it to lose your soul right now. Lose your heart right now. Amen. I release your heart from all unclean spirit, evil spirit, and ungodly soul ties. I disconnect your soul in the name of Jesus. Anything in you which is not of God, let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Spirit of the... In Spirit of rejection, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Spirit of rejection, as you breathe out, let it come out. As you cough out, let it come out. As you breathe out, let it come out. As you cough out, let it come out. As you breathe out, let it come out. Spirit of rejection, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Spirit of rejection, be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Spirit of rejection, break and come out. Break and come out. Break and come out. Cough out and go. Never to return. In Jesus' name, say this after me, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, today, today, I receive, I receive your love, your love. Let your love, let your love make, make my soul, my soul, my heart, my heart whole, whole. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, I embrace, I embrace, I accept, I accept your love for me. Your love for it me. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I've been through. What I've been. It doesn't through. matter. It doesn't matter how I feel about myself. How I feel about I myself. I accept your agape love. Your agape your unconditional. Love. 
Allah towards me. And today, I accept myself. I accept. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. I love myself because you first loved me. Because you first loved me. From today. From today, no more rejection. No more rejection in the name of Jesus. In the name of from Jesus. Today, from today, no more rejection mechanism. No more rejection mechanism or self rejection. Of self rejection. And no more will people reject me anymore. And no more will people re reject because me because I've been accepted. Because I've been accepted. I have been favored. I've been favored by the Lord Jesus Christ. By the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of rejection, I command you never to return because today, as you are. Expressing with your deliverance, I pray for you. Receive love, yeah. acceptance, yeah. and favor. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind. I bind to my heart. To my heart. The spirit of love. The spirit of love. I bind. I bind to my heart. To my heart. The spirit of acceptance. The spirit of acceptance. I bind. I bind to my heart. To my heart. The spirit of favor. The spirit. The spirit of. Favor. I bind. I bind to my heart. To my heart. The healing power. The healing power of God. Of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am made whole. I am made whole in Jesus' name. In Jesus. From today. From today, my mind is renewed. My mind. Is I renewed. must be accepted. I must be accepted. I am not rejected. I am not rejected. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. It is well. Now take your oil if you have your oil, and just take some oil and anoint your forehead. Say, Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From today. From today. Let the curse. Let the curse. The bewitchment. The bewitchment. Of rejection. Of rejection. On my life. On my life. Be broken. Be broken. By the reason. By the reason. Of the anointing. Of the anointing. Let the curse. Let the curse. Let the bewitchment. Let the bewitchment. Of rejection. Of rejection. On my life. On my life. Be broken. Be broken. No more. No more. Will I experience will rejection I experience when rejection. I go to work or when I deal with people yeah. today? Whatever marks my life as rejection is broken. By the race of the anointing, the Bible says, By the race of the anointing, the yoke is broken. Today, I command any yoke of rejection that place your life to be broken. Amen. Be broken, Amen. be broken, Amen. be broken Amen. off your Amen. life in Jesus' Amen. name. Receive favor. Say, I receive favor. I receive favor. Now, take the blood, take the blood. You are going to receive the blessings of God in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I seal my blessing. I seal my blessing. With the precious blood. With the precious blood. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus. Through the blood. Through the blood. I receive. I receive. Favor. Favor. Acceptance. Acceptance. I receive. I receive. Favor. Favor. And acceptance. And acceptance. I receive. I receive. Favor. Favor. And acceptance. And acceptance. I'm restored. I am restored. I receive the love of God. I receive the love in of Jesus God. Name. In Jesus' name. Wherever I go. Wherever I will be accepted. I'll be accepted. I'll be favored. I'll be favored. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. It is done. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. You just have to believe. In Jesus' name. Join us every evening, 11 p.m. Eastern Time for prayers. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 4 a.m. for those of you in London. 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. We meet every day on our YouTube platform. Subscribe to Fresh Fire Prayer Line, YouTube, or KL Blessing, YouTube, and follow us on Facebook, KL Blessing. Today is the 13th day of our 21 days fasting. The fasting continues tomorrow also. And tomorrow's scripture reading is Psalms 3, Psalms chapter 3. I want you to believe that today, you and rejection have nothing in common. And demand, place a demand on acceptance yeah. expect and demand acceptance yes. expect what and demand yeah. acceptance yeah. as you go to look for a job expect and demand when you are dealing with people expect and demand that they must accept me i must be favored because god has favored me i cannot be rejected in yeah. jesus name and you shall see today your new nickname spiritually is acceptance yeah. and favor yeah. that's your 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 nickname spiritual name acceptance and favor favor is my name Favor and acceptance is my name. I cannot be rejected in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, Amen. for this massive deliverance. Amen. We thank you. This spirit of rejection that has left your people, I pray, and seal their, 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 their deliverance with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit, fill them. Amen. Fill them and let them know the love of God, Amen. the knowledge of God. Amen. Renew their mind. Amen. And you, spirit of rejection, I bind you never to return anymore. Yes. I forbid you from returning yes. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. From today, may your life be marked with favor, acceptance, and the love of God in Jesus' mighty name. 
and may the Lord restore all the years that rejection has stolen from you. Receive total restoration in your life. In Jesus' name. Somebody, a breakthrough is coming your way. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. We thank God and we bless his holy name. For any offering, donation, sacrifice, whatever it is, you want to bless the work of God, go to our website, www.freshfireprayer.com. www.freshfireprayer.com. you get access to PayPal, Zelle, and um, Cash App. If it, you are using Cash App, it's Fresh Fire Prayer. Fresh Fire Prayer. May God richly bless you. And today you are walking in the favor and acceptance of God. Whatever you were believing God for, and because of the spirit of witchcraft of rejection, demon of rejection, and curse of rejection was denying you, today your blessing is coming. Somebody, Amen. you are going to get married. Somebody, Amen. you are going to get a job. Amen. Somebody, you are going to get a promotion. Amen. Somebody, you are going to get that race. Whatever was rejecting you is going to accept you. Even the, the city, the state, or the country you are living in will begin to accept you and be good to you in Jesus' name. Because the Bible says, Jesus received favor with God and favor with men. Today, you are receiving favor with God, acceptance with God, and acceptance and favor with man. You will begin to see how your life will change from today. Amen. Only believe and walk in favor, acceptance, and the love of God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. For any other information, go to our website, www freshfireprayer.com www.freshfireprayer.com Join us every day for prayers. 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. 4 a.m. Those of you in London, 5 a.m. for those of you in Europe. God richly bless you. Today, your name is favor and acceptance. Expect and demand your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. There's an outpouring of abundance, of abundance, new doors have been opened, the land is green, a new grace has been released. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is here. It's all in here. Lift up your hands. The glory of the latter is greater than the former. The blessing is here. It's all in here. All in here. There's another flow. Abundance of favor is a new level. It's a new level. There's a new flow. Abundance of blessings. I'll take it over. I'll take it over. I see the nations come to me to receive answers from the least. I will shine as a house on the hill. My greatness cannot be seen. See the nations come to me to receive answers, to receive answers from the Lord. I am shining, I shine, house on the hill, house on the hill. 